Hello, people. Welcome to a town in Poland I cannot pronounce. Today we're on the eastern border of Poland with Ukraine, and we're gonna go into Lviv. Uh, I'm a bit nervous. Um, I've been here volunteering in this town uh, for the last five or six days, helping refugees off the train, helping them find taxis and stuff, just simple things, but I've met a few people from Lviv, and uh, they seem to think it's, it's all right there. So I'm gonna trust the local knowledge and, uh, and head out and see, see for myself what's going on. Uh, that being said, I do know the situation can change rapidly in a country that is at war. All right, well off in the distance there is the Ukrainian border. Very nervous. Fuck, dude. Here, all right, here's the border. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the camera and the mic because obviously I don't think that would be smart to film a country's border at war. So I'll see you guys on the other side. So just passed through the border into Ukraine. We're in the town of Shaney. I believe I'm, there's no way I'm saying that right. But uh, already you can see the, the crumbling infrastructure, the, the roads aren't great. Um, it, uh, it feels a lot like passing from the US into Mexico. Um, we're leaving the European Union. We're entering a country at war. You uh, English? Uh, oh, little, little. You come back. Uh, wife come back. Oh, wow. Ch children come back. Uh, three, uh, one month. Wow. Uh, you come back. Wow. So you are very happy today. Thank you. Good. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you. All right. The journey to Lviv begins. Yeah, this is our uh, seventh country on the way to Japan, and uh, it's the first one that feels distinct, very, very different from the rest of the countries we've been to, as far as infrastructure and just to kind of feel the place. It's uh, very, very distinct, even from Poland. Uh, it just feels a lot poor, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Obviously, a huge line of people trying to leave the country. Can't say I really blame them. All right, we're pulling up to some town. No idea what it's called, but uh, it's what I'd like to eat. Let's get some Ukrainian food. We have just now we have problem with Russia. Yeah. In the view, normal. The view is okay. Yeah, Ukrainian people is very good people. Yeah. I've been here for maybe one hour, and people are very, very nice to me. Can you? Can I propose you a cup of coffee? Sure, sure, sure. Okay. No okay. Nice. Thanks. <laughs> Come on. You Thank can you. put it in my cup. Oh, really? Okay. Thanks. All right. Uh, yeah. How do you say thank you in Ukrainian? Uh, thank you. No Ukrainian. No problem. No problem. My name is Michael. Michael. And what about you? Connor. Ah, Connor. Yeah. McGregor. <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Not Michael Jordan. <laughs> Please. Thanks. Thanks for you. Ah, thank you. Cheers, man. Glory for USA because USA uh, very helped mm. to Ukraine. Very, very helped. So can you leave Ukraine? Uh, just not more. Mm. In the period of the war, uh, there, there is no uh, possible. Do you want to leave Ukraine or do you want to stay? I like Ukraine. Yeah. 
I want to, to visit all countries in the world, yeah. <laughs> but I haven't uh, such an uh, opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> Your present, where is it? You will taste it. Nice. Another one? Oh, I'm okay, I'm okay. No? No, I'm okay, thanks. Thanks, Michael. You're not, not going to eat? I live 200 meters from here. Oh. <laughs> so we just came here to talk and for me to eat. No problem. Oh, okay. Cheers. Thanks, man. Guys. <laughs> I know. Delicious. I know. <laughs> Thank you so much, Michael. Jaku. All right. The helmet's safe and sound. Okay, Michael. Jaku, though. <laughs> it's very good. Yeah. Slava Ukraina. Glory for the USA. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Okay, thank cheers. You, thank you for your help and good luck and God bless you. Thank you. Same to you. Be safe, okay? You are the best. <laughs> you, man. You. Okay. Ciao. Will you ring me up? Yeah, sure. I'll call you. No problem. Yeah, okay. Nice. Okay, cheers. Bye bye. <laughs> you know it's away? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Michael. Nice. Good trip. <laughs> Thanks. Be safe, okay? All right. Ciao. Jaku. Ah, shout out to Michael, man. What an absolute legend. Beautiful human being. <laughs> I think he's probably the friendliest person I've met on my entire trip across Europe so far. Oh, there's the potholes they mentioned. There they are. Yeah, if we can find one person who's half as friendly as him, in our week in Ukraine, I think it'll be a success. What is this, BCIM? What is this? Is this a military checkpoint? Oh shit. It says don't record. Okay, well maybe I'll turn off the camera here. Holy shit. This is intense. Damn, dude. Just when it feels like a normal country, see shit like that. Damn, dude, that was that was scary. Yeah, so right now we're headed to an area where I feel like we're gonna be able to find a hotel. It looked like there was a few near some park, so. So we're headed now. Wow. Man, everything looks so different here. It's almost like it just hasn't been updated in decades. I mean, that bridge, that building over there, it's uh, kind of jarring how different it is from uh, the EU. It's like a freaking off-road course in these back roads. Well, I just pulled up to a hotel. They told me to park underneath here. And um, look what's happening. My fucking bike is not starting. I don't know why, I don't know if it's a fuse or what, I'm not, uh, I'm not a mechanic, but... Fuck, man. That is not good. I'm, I don't know what to do, I'm just gonna let it sit. Oh my god. 
out of all the places, out of all the places for my bike to stop working, Ukraine. Well, okay, okay. okay. So he's gonna help me start my bike. Let's see if it works. So he's hatched a plan to uh, maybe push it and it'll start. I don't know. I'll try anything, honestly. I don't want my bike to be stuck in Ukraine. Shout out to big homie helping me though. Okay. Let's see if this shit works. Ready? Three, two, one. Ah. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Nah, it's okay. It's okay, man. Duck cool. I got some bad luck today, but I got a real one here to help me out. Hey, I have uh, for. No, 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 come on. Come on. Take it. Okay. For parking oh. and the help. Dakuza, thank you. Hey. Bye bye. You know, for as shitty as this situation is, and for as uh, poopy faced as I'm being about it, Homeboy just really helped me out. He. Um, inspected the bike with me and checked the fuses and I don't know he was just there for me he just a true homie this guy I just met in Ukraine so uh, that's two for two people being awesome today first it was Michael buying us lunch and now it's homie uh, helping me with the bike these Ukrainian people are, are world-class well guys this is not good. The hotel I was supposed to stay at uh, is full and my bike is broken down in their garage. And it's 7 p.m. on a weekend. I can't imagine a mechanic is open. So, uh, fuck, dude. <laughs> it's like two strikes at once, man. Bike's broken down, no hotel room. Well, uh, I guess I'll just walk around the streets and uh, look for a hotel where I am. Do you have a booking? No. So you don't have a bedroom? Really? Bye. Bye-bye. All right. Not all hope is lost. The receptionist called a different hotel to find a room for me, and they have one. So off we are to Hotel Sputnik. All right, I had a slight change of plans, uh, per usual. Just stopped at a random hotel on the way to Sputnik. Paid 13 bucks for the room. So let's see what 13 bucks gets us. Leave. Nice, very modest hotel room, $13. Sweet. Yeah, not bad. Sweet, that'll do. It smells like smoke, that's fine. <laughs> well, all right guys, that's it for day one from Ukraine. Uh, the original plan was to stay here six or seven days, but with the bike situation, it not starting, it might need a new battery. I'm not sure what's going to happen, if I'll ever be able to leave this country. Honestly, I think it'll be fine. Um, if our luck was anything like today, we're gonna meet some awesome people in the days to come. Maybe someone to help with the bike, I'm not sure. But we got six more days left in this country. Let's see, uh, let's see what else it has to offer. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow from Lviv. Peace.